what is going on guys my name is paul this is 251 reeling if you're new to the channel welcome today i'm going to show you how to troubleshoot a bad alternator you've been fishing out on the water you notice that your battery voltage is the same as when you left it should be charging you should be getting more charge to your battery as the engine is running uh, you've noticed that your battery is just getting pulled down or you've actually killed a battery uh, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot this problem. Let's go. Okay, so I just turned my battery switch on the boat. I've got 12 and a half volts here. And just, uh, just to kind of get a double check here, the volt supply on the Simrad unit is also showing 12.1, 12.2, something like that. Uh, now this is fine, right? The problem is, is when I'm starting my engine, I'm not getting 13 and a half volts. So it's either the fusible link or the alternator. All right, so I've tested fusible link, which is here where my thumb is. This is the top of it. And then the big red cable here at the bottom, I tested it. Let's see if I can get the camera in here down there where the red cable is I've tested that with an ohm meter and I'm getting continuity so it's not the fusible link so now at this point in time I'm gonna go and recheck my batteries make sure I don't have anything crossed up uh, that would drain the battery and make sure I don't have anything that's left on somewhere that would drain the battery I'm gonna charge that battery fully up and then i'm going to crank the motor if i'm not getting 13 volts with the motor running 13 and a half volts something like that i know that it's going to be the alternator the alternator is not putting out so that's usually the the three basic things loose battery connections or something wrong with the battery somewhere where there's a switch on that drains the battery uh fusible link which is still good or the alternator so this is going to be my last last option here and i really don't know these things run from 150 to 300 dollars depending on if you get the oem parts all right guys so we got the water hooked up it's flowing we got our red lead on the alternator red wire here we got the black or ground grounded off to the block on any bolt it really doesn't matter uh we're showing 12 and a half volts got the battery switch on of course i'm gonna set this right here so you guys can read the voltage and i'm gonna go start it and we'll see what we're getting while the engine is running be here in a couple of days and when it arrives we're gonna put the alternator on and recheck the voltage all right guys before you start this job you're gonna need an eight millimeter for the shroud bolts you're gonna need a 10 millimeter for the alternator positive wire and you're going to need a half inch for the big bolts on the alternator the two bolts you got one here and one over here so we got our alternator back we're going to have to take this top cover off to get access to the belt to take off the alternator we got one eight millimeter bolt here one eight millimeter bolt here and here and this plastic cover will come off 
and then we'll start taking the alternator off. Okay, so we're gonna take the top of the red wire off, the positive here, and we're gonna undo this clip here, just like that. Uh, we got one bolt up here. We're gonna loosen this bolt up first, but we're not gonna take it all the way out, just enough to swing it, and then we're gonna take the bolt completely out once we have the belt off. All right, guys, so it's starting to get dark on me, running a little behind. You know how it is, got off work, got to fix the alternator. Uh, we got one bolt in right here, it's the last one. That's the one you're gonna loosen up first and then turn your alternator to the left and the belt should come off. Let's see if we can do that. We've still got a little daylight here. Oh, there we go. All right, and then the belt's gonna come off just like that. And now we're gonna finish taking our bolt out right here. And then we can put our new alternator on. All right, so when you go to put this thing back in, start with this bolt first. Just get it snugged up, rotate it around to get your belt on, and then pull it around and put your second bolt in right here be kind of tricky uh i only have two hands so i don't think i can do this and record at the same time and it's getting dark on me so all right so we're just going to tighten that up put the belt on move it around put the bolt in easy peasy All right, so tighten up the positive wire here and put our plug back in here. And that's it. We're ready to crank this thing up and see if we're getting voltage. All right, guys, it is time. We got the alternator installed. It's the next morning. We can see, we got the battery switch on, we got 12, 0.4 volts what we're looking for when we start this motor 13 and a half to 14 something anywhere in that range will be good uh, I'm gonna let set you guys up right here I'm gonna go start the engine and we'll see how many volts we're getting Just for good measure, I'm going to show you guys what we're getting on the voltmeter. Uh, I don't know why when you record digital numbers they do that, but it's getting 14.3, 14.4. So we're definitely getting what we need. 
guys i hope this video has been helpful to someone i know when i have problems i search youtube for stuff all the time so maybe someone's out there doing the same thing you know what to do i'll see you guys on the next video